I went to look around here, but Virginia Tech is under construction. I took a look at the problem firsthand recently and found that the students are feeling the university's growing pains. Virginia Tech is once again under construction. A maze of fences, a myriad of pedestrian circulation flowcharts, and giant mud hills have left most of our students confused and late to class. I've spoken to many students and faculty, and they have graciously let their emotions flow regarding to the construction on Virginia Polytechnic Institute and State University's construction extravaganza. It doesn't bother us because we're going to this building right here and we just walk up this way. But sooner or later, they're going to encircle the whole campus and they're not going to let anybody in. <laughs> well, I have to tell you, you know, it uh, really puts you out of your way. With the parking situation as bad as it is, it really makes you late for class. Has it made you late for class before, Has it made sir? Me, yeah, it's made me late for class before also. How many times has it made you late I for can't class? I remember. It's pretty, uh, pretty habitual, though, you know? Gosh, with tons of rerouted traffic, how do you think this uh, construction affects people? Let's ask this man, Young. I don't know, Joe. What do you think it looks like out here? <laughs> hey. What about the uh, construction here? Do you think it's affecting your pedestrian uh, flow? Uh, yeah, I think it is. I think it is. I didn't think they need to quit this stuff, you know? <laughs> How has the uh, construction sites affected your pedestrian route flow? Um, speaking of which, which construction site? The one over there. Over there? Yeah. Uh, it hasn't really. No, it hasn't. Has it uh, made you late to anything? Like a diaper changing session or something like that? So it's not bugging you as much as it bugs me? No, I don't know how much it bugs you. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, this construction does kind of bug me, and it will continue bugging me well into the 1990s. Come to think of it, I'll be gone by then. This is George Richmond reporting for Blacksburg Edition. Hello, and welcome to Blacksburg Edition. I'm George Richmond. And I'm Kathy Miller. We don't have to tell you that the month of December means the holidays, but more importantly, for Virginia Tech students, it means Christmas break. Most people look forward to the holidays taking it easy, having a good time, seeing their family, but for some, the holidays are not so blessed. Janine Koch has a story on an organization who can help those who are left feeling blue by a white Christmas. The holiday seasons are upon us. For most of us, this means a time of joy to be shared with our family and friends. And get out, and life just seems real, real miserable. Raptors. They have problems with organization and study skills. This is Janine Koch reporting for Blacksburg Edition. And more after this. It's new to Virginia Tech cadets. The team was started three years ago, and Captain Ted Cuneo has been the team's trainer since the beginning. From there, it's really grown. I had 35. Thanks for joining Blacksburg Edition. From the whole staff of Blacksburg Edition, we send season's greetings to you and your family. Good night. Okay, I need